Hello everyone. Today I'll show you how to use prompt engineering in software testing in order to significantly speed up test coverage and significantly reduce test maintenance. Okay, so we will be uh, testing with bestbuy.com on test trigger. We'll create a, a test suite called Best Buy. Uh, specify the URL and test trigger. In test trigger, you can also do mobile native desktop testing and create test suite. Now, uh, let's just uh, specify what do you want to be achieved. So, a uh, great thing about uh, uh, about AI and test trigger in particular is that you can just express using your own words how a system should function. For example, check out test. And here we can say find a Kindle and add it to the shopping cart. All right. So as you can see, there are two instructions for AI to process. Let's add and run. It doesn't know what those mean. They say, hey, should I use AI? Yes, please. So what is uh, happening now is uh, test trigger will uh, start uh, a test server. It will start the browser and the trigger will load the page, uh, which is a landing page. In this case, uh, bestbuy.com. It will wait until page is loaded and then it will proceed uh, using AI to figure out what instructions need to be executed for those particular prompts. So in this particular case, as you can see, first step was entering Kindle into what we can help you find today, input. And then that was a part of the first prompt. And the part of the second prompt was click shop now. So this is how it looks. So it entered Kindle in here and it highlighted it is going to click on shop now in here. So this is, as you can probably guess, not what we expected uh, to happen and not what we meant. So let's analyze how did we get that discrepancy? Why is the system is not doing what it is supposed to? And if you look into, uh, into the rest of the test, it goes through several hoops until it finally gets somewhere that we can find a to cart button, which it clicks, and then it, it then it stops. Okay, so and uh, the discrepancy here is because of disconnect between these two prompts and specifically not enough details in the first prompt. Uh, in the first prompt, we only said find the kidnel, but we did not say what to do with it. So once it entered the uh, uh, Kindle into search bar and it showed Kindles, then that basically was the end of it. So we at no point here we select a Kindle. And of course, then this one doesn't know what it means because there is no Kindle selected. Uh, and therefore, one of the ways how we can uh, fix it is to use prompt engineering and fine tune the first prompt in order to do what needs to be done in this case. And we need to say and select it. And let's kick it off. 
yes there is again unknown instruction let's use AI to do that and it will go through again same cycles so it will um, start uh, OS in this case Ubuntu starts browser in this case Chrome will open uh, the bestbuy.com the URL which we specified when we created this suite in the browser and wait until page finished loading before executing the instructions and voila uh, it, it did and now it will be following the updated instructions all right, so in this particular case, let's see what's going on. So both instructions came from this new prompt. Find Kindle and select it. Let's see the screen. So it entered Kindle into search bar. In the end, it is selected a specific Kindle. And then, of course, it got to a Kindle page, which, of course, had uh, add to cart button in there, which it promptly clicked as a part of the second uh, prompt. And voila, now it works exactly as we would like. So what would be another way of uh, fixing it? Uh, another way would be uh, to go to reusable rules, select it and say, I don't want it to be executed by AI. Let's see what was the last successful uh, steps in the, during last successful execution. And let's say we don't care which uh, Kindle we want to select. Just say, hey, give me some Kindle Paperwhite. I do not care which one. And then save. And now this is, this, this is not going to use AI. This is going to basically uh, execute these specific steps next time you run it. So in which, uh, in which use case you would want to use which approach? Well, um, you want to use AI as much as possible in the places where you do not care how you get to places. For example, uh, you're just finding uh, a product, getting somewhere, logging in, you need to do some uh, absolutely straightforward actions, sequence of actions, and you don't ab absolutely don't care how exactly it is executed. In this case, you probably want to stick with uh, uh, AI and regardless how your search works, uh, it will be able to figure out to do appropriate sequence of steps in order to find your system. Now, sorry, to find, find your product or get to a place where you need it and uh, so on and so forth. In the cases where you do care how a system must function, you would need to specify that explicitly. Let's say, hey, uh, let's click exactly this button and validate exactly that. Also, in some cases, it could be extremely challenging uh, to get good uh, sequence of steps from AI that applies to use cases where you're uh, trying to do something that is not uh, a common knowledge and nobody would have guessed it. Uh, it could be it's like specific to your system or uh, maybe you're trying to use terminology which is specific to your particular company or to uh, this particular field you're working at. In this particular case, uh, AI might not just know what to do uh, and it might not come up with appropriate steps. So in this case, you, you would want to tell it what needs to be done and wherefore specify uh, is specific steps that are expected. Uh, and uh, where you go, so and those, uh, those things are like functions. You can use it uh, across the board, anywhere, 
and you can always uh, uh, switch back and forth between using AI or specifying your specific steps. No problem at all. And this is how you use prompt engineering in software testing. And this is how you speed up significantly your test creation. And of course, it will help you with your test maintenance as well, because if you use AI, uh, it doesn't care how exactly your system functions, it just selects the appropriate steps. Thank you very much.